Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com, coming to you live from Mesa, Arizona, where I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Recently celebrated my 10-year anniversary with that. So um, I've been popping on um, most Tuesday mornings at 8.30 a.m., whatever time zone we're in, to show you um, a fun card making project using Stampin' Up! products. Good morning, Linda. Thanks for popping in. Today, we are going to be using Stampin' Up! Stamparatus and the Friendly Flamingo stamp set to make, um, we're going to be doing the mirror image technique and I'm going to be making a Valentine card or you can use it for um, a love card or for anybody who loves flamingos. So that's me, that's me. I'm kind of crazy about them and I'm collecting all kinds of um, flamingo elements thanks to all my friends and family. So let's get started this morning and I'll show you a little bit, um, well, not a little bit, I'll show you exactly how I make the card using the Stamparatus and um, the Friendly Flamingo bundle. Just hang tight. I'll go down here to my workspace. All right. So the Friendly Flamingo um, bundle is found on page 43 of Stampin' Up's January through June mini catalog. So it has the um, photopolymer stamp set, good morning Sue, as well as the flamingo dies. I'm not using those particular dies today, but I am going to be using the tranquil dies. Um, you know, as, you, as card makers, we explore a lot of different sites online and we see a lot of different ideas. And the tranquil dies was not something that um, I, actually saw or kind of jumped out at me in the catalog until people started using them in conjunction with the Friendly Flamingo bundle. So good morning, Marty. Thanks for popping in. All right. So this, um, this is my completed card that I will show you how, um, how I made that. So you can, um, use these ideas to, um, you can use other stamps with the mirror image technique as well. So let me move in the Stamparatus. This is Stampin' Up's stamp positioning tool. It uh, has really so many um, awesome, awesome uses. Uh, and one of them being the uh, mirror or reverse image technique. In the past, I've also done a video on the hinge step stamping, so that's kind of fun too. So um, because the Flamingo is a, a photopolymer stamp, I do have the foam, the foam mat with that. Then I'm using Stampin' Up! silicone mat, and I just have that tucked in the corner and I really don't need the magnet. I'm not sure why it's sitting there, um, in case I do need it. I also, when I'm using the Stamparatus, I like to have a stamp set case underneath that side in order to um, make applying ink a little bit easier. I'm just trying to position this so it doesn't bump my camera. All right, so I just have a five and a quarter by four piece of cardstock that I'm going to be using, but I forgot. There's one piece that we need to do. If you notice, this card has a little bit of um, shading. So we're going to do some sponging in order to make that sun um, image in there. So I have a five and a quarter by four uh, with a basic white piece of card stock. And I also had um, another one and I cut that circle with the Stampin' Up's two and a quarter circle punch. Just place it right on top of one another. Then I'm going to be using Stampin' Up's, good morning Patricia, I'm going to be using Stampin' Up's blending brushes to to blend that, um, to make that circle there. So I've got a little bit of Daffodil Delight that I'm starting with. It's going to, um, and then fill in my circle. 
with that first, I stamp off just a little bit or I could stamp off of here or sponge off and I'm just gently um, rolling in little circle or your circular motion. So you can make this as light or as dark as you want. And it's never gonna, good morning, Wendy. Thanks for popping in today. I'm from frigid Minnesota. Um, there we go. Let's see, then uh, I just wanna add just a little bit of Mango Melody in there. So I'll pop that stamp pad open as well. Move over with another brush. Just gives it a little more orange. Maybe sunsets, sunrise. The one thing about our um, sunsets in Arizona is they're absolutely beautiful, many different colors. All right, so that's gonna be good enough for our for our background. There we go. So I'll pull that off. Now I'll bring the Stamparatus back in. And again, it's, I moved that. Um, got my stamp set underneath it. Um, and I'm going to be using the Magenta Madness ink with that. Let's see. All right, so here we are. We've got the flamingo already mounted on there. Um, so in order to get the reverse image going, I'm going to stamp or ink up my um, flamingo with my pad. I always like to that's uh, do it upside down there. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for popping in today. And then I'm going to flip it and stamp on the silicone mat, just giving it a really, really good push. Let's see what that, um, and let me do it one more time just to see. And that's the beauty of the Stamparatus is that you can get that. Good morning, Sharon, thanks for popping in. You can get that um, the same every time, in the same spot. All right, so and I'm gonna bring in my five and a quarter by four Whisper White designer series, or designer series paper, oh my goodness, today, it's only Tuesday, long weekend. Um, and I want the image on the front side, so I'm gonna turn that over. And I wouldn't have to ink my uh, flamingo again, but I'm just going to, because I found that, um... all right, so, okay. Pull that off. So there's the one side and voila, I have the flamingo on the other side as well. So now we need to put him back over here, him or her. And so I will ink that up here. So think about other stamps that you could use this reverse image technique with. And then, good morning, Monica. Thanks for popping in today. So there I have made two, um, two facing flamingos. So that is the um, reverse image or mirror technique. I don't know, let me know if you need to see that again. I have an, an, another piece of paper or if you um, need me to show you a little bit more, but the acrylic mat just transfers the image and you're able to, um, you're able to get the two facing flamingos. Super cute. Um, so that was that was my um, first in first intent with the card. So after I got it this far, it's like hmm, now I wonder what am I going to do with it now? How am I going to make it um, into something I can send? So I took the tranquil dies using um, the just jade paper and um that the dice this is the one piece of the dice palm it's a palm tree so it absolutely goes with the flamingos and then this is one of the others um pieces so i cut out the just jade piece kind of goes in a corner um or you could trim it off and then I cut this piece out as well. So that's where I started with that. Um, actually, first let's, this, the, the stamp is Love um, 
Thank you. Love, and that comes from, I was trying to find something really little, so I have the, the Country Home stamp set that's available in Stampin' Up's um, annual catalog. So there's the love, you know, hello and joy, thanks. All of those little ones would have worked really well in here. So, um, I think we'll stamp first before I take all the effort into gluing those pieces down. And I'm just going to want that in this little, this little spot right here, and then we'll add the heart last. All right, so what I did with the, the greenery that's in the Just Jade, it's used by um, my glue and it's all gunked up. Put a little few piece, few spots so that I could at least get the bulk of it down. And the leaves are kind of, you can. Has anybody tried the mirror image technique with the Stamparatus? With other images? Good morning, Colleen. Tell me what you might have made with it. Um, I know when we had the dog stamp, I love to use the dog with it. And I'm gonna stick that um, just in the corner here, lining it up with the edges. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Yes, Sue, you'll go try this when you're done and show us what you make. And then, um, my scissor is around here somewhere. Here it is. So then with, I'm just going to trim off the a little extra pieces when I see on the back. And there's not very many. It fits really well. It's really, I bought the stamp set to go with the Tranquil dies too, just because you get a 10% discount. And this is the stamp set called Tranquil Thoughts that comes with those dies. So you can see the leaves and the flowers and um, I'm really loving the, um, the fonts on all the sentiments. So that's what goes with that. Alrighty. So there's that. And then um, I have just this little flower. So I actually just used my snips and trimmed out that leaf right here. And um, it's going to put that in the corner right there using some glue. I'm, I don't always use glue. Um, sometimes glue and I don't get along, but um, for little pieces like this, um, if I'm careful, it's not, careful is not always my middle name. Uh, there we go, okay. So that just adds a little bit of, um, what do you call it? fun to that so it still needs something else have you guys seen the Stampin' Up's hearts and kisses punch I love the lips but it also has that perfect heart in the middle and I used um, some of our that foil the awesome foil paper so I'll just snip a heart out I'm trying to use a scrap so I don't have a lot of waste because foil paper good morning Carol thanks for popping in all right, there's my heart. He's just gonna go, it's amazing, it just fits right in there, just perfect for my Valentine flamingos. So I'm going to, I guess I don't see my glue dots on the table. I mean, does your, my table get so messy. I even clean it off for these and then I struggle to find some of my pieces after I start creating. You find that your, your workspace shrinks and shrinks until you must clean it. All right, then I did use the bumblebee as my um, my base, so it's cut and scored, and I'll just cut that in half. And, of course, and I just closed my Magenta Madness ink pad and have ink all over my fingers. So, <laughs> so um, 
I can cover up some of it, but I'm probably gonna have to get another card base because I have um, Magenta Madness ink everywhere. So, oh my goodness. That is, um, yes, I am a messy stamper. But you can see how that card goes together. I don't even, I don't even dare touch anything else because I've, is that Magenta Madness is a pretty bright. So there's the, the finished card and there's the almost finished card that I'm going to need to get another um, bumblebee background. But um, thanks for joining me today to see, to see how I did the mirror, um, the mirror stamping the reflection technique. I did want I did make another one that I thought was kind of fun it but it it uses the um um just the die cut of our flamingo stand tall and stand out and again using those tranquil dies. Um I love the flamingo. You can see that sponging again in the background and the sentiment stand tall and stand out. I made little three by three cards with the flamingo and that sentiment for our Fit Body Boot Camp challenge team, encouraging them for week. Uh, week two. I just love that we can use Stampin' Up's products to make all kinds of different cards, encouragement, and otherwise. So um, there you go. I do appreciate you guys stopping in today. I'll be back next Tuesday at 8.30. I have the YouTube channel. Um, thanks to you, I'm up to 193 subscribers. So that's exciting. I also uh, send a newsletter two or three times a month as well as put the cards on Pinterest. So have an awesome day wherever you are, and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.